this past weekend, the local news stations had this really interesting story about a local artist. And I think his story hits a couple areas. One, questions of interpretation. Two, place in history. And then I want to tie it with our moment now with coronavirus and also biblical interpretation. But in order to do that, we need to finish our coffee, need some room to work, and we've got to pack up and get changed for a field trip. Hill Arts District and they've opened it up for these street artists. Great thing about a bike is you can just up and down the sidewalk when you're hunting for something like this. It's an old business district that got bypassed. All right so we're down here in the Knob Hill area. On the news they had a depiction of this street art that got put up and it's basically got five elements to it. The woman, the gun, the coronavirus, the hashtag stay at home and then wash your hands over here. So the thing about metaphorical images like this is that our brains absolutely love them. All you have to do is look at TV ads, advertisements and radios or anything. We really like metaphorical blends. Now you'll notice one thing about the virus is it's huge. Viruses are smaller than human cells. The other thing about the coronavirus here to realize is that it's got two eyes with a mouth. And by giving it a face, it gives this virus intentions, directionality. It lets us know that this virus is after the woman. Huge garbage truck. This is what you get when you're talking about street art, right? We're live, we're out here, we're dirty. The second one is the woman here. It's very interesting that the artist didn't use a man. And I think that just displays a vulnerability that she's a female instead of a, you know, kind of a gangster type guy. Or it could be that it's more along the maternal, the caring, a nurse type figure here on this side. But the two are in opposition. They're looking right at each other in this whole thing. And then finally, we have the gun here in the middle, because that brings across intentionality. If the face here lets us know that this is some sort of creature that's after us, and the woman's here, the gun lets us know that this woman is definitely out to get this thing. But something very interesting about the gun here that's going on is that what is the gun? It's the stay at home, and it's your wash your hands. Neither of those two actions, staying at home or washing your hands, are what I would call violent actions. This woman is out to kill the coronavirus. And the gun that she has is social distancing, staying at home, and cleanliness, washing our hands. Now, one of the things that this mural teaches me, especially with the gun, is all those people that I thought were really strange rushing out to buy guns and ammo to protect their toilet paper, you know, they might be onto something. Also, this language gets picked up in a lot of other areas. The president says that he is at war with the coronavirus. Uh, Dr. Tedros, who's the director of the World Health Organization, mentioned that social distancing and practicing good hygiene are the only two weapons we have in our arsenal against this disease right now. We have no medicines, we have no cure, we have no vaccine. This is all that we have in our arsenal. But notice, he used the term weapons and arsenal. The president used war. For this woman to have this gun fits within this larger metaphorical category that we have as a culture 
of fighting, once again, this whole uh, war type metaphor against this virus that is attacking us. Not all aspects of metaphors come across well. So this idea that we're intentional against the disease, that we're targeted, that we are really focusing on stopping this with these two weapons that we have comes across. Where it doesn't come across is the suddenness. And this is one of the things to realize. When we talk about flattening the curve here, we're not talking about wiping out this disease. What we're talking about is buying time for the medical profession to develop treatments, to develop a vaccine against it. My daughter works in epidemiology and she compares it this way. She says, imagine all of the car crashes that occur in your city happening in a one week time span. When they happen over the entire year, the hospitals can handle that number of accidents. But if they all happen in one week, there's no way they could handle that influx of patients. By staying at home and by washing our hands and social distancing, we're buying time. We're trying to flatten that curve inside our hospitals and medical system do not get overrun. We're gonna have this guy attacking us for a long time. So why am I talking about this mural down here in metaphorical blends? A, it's because the way our brain works, the same way we process language is the same way we process images. And metaphorical blends, for example, like this one, are also found throughout the Bible. So when the Bible talks about the Lord is my shepherd, or God is a father, or a nursing mother, or a strong helper, these are our metaphors. God's not our father. God's not a king. God's not a shepherd. God's not a nursing mother. But all of these metaphors start with where we're at and help us to understand something. In the same way this mural helps us to understand and picture what we're involved in in this battle against the coronavirus. And this is why metaphor and metaphorical images are so important to understand, to watch for them, listen for them in the Bible, and to think about what they're communicating. Headed home now.